out. So Milan, new uh, participants to this tournament, and Sanyo as well, both Japanese individual from what I see. So let's see how this pans out. Uh, maybe the sound is a little bit down for you guys. Can you hear it? Let me just real quick check it out. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. On my end, it's actually pretty, uh, pretty low, but it's fine. It's fine. Anyways, it's actually a good thing. Yeah, no, it's fine. fine. Anyways, so uh, welcome to the Brojo Cup. This is the 86 of Brojo Cup for the Guilty Year Strive version of the Brojo Cup. That it. And for now, we have two newcomers. Let's see how this pans out. So far, so good. Milan does have the life lead. Let's see if Sanyo can do something about it. Here we go. Very, very um, interesting wake up BRC from Sanyo. Was able to get out of the pressure, but this should do with the overdrive into the wall. The splat for the kill. Very nicely done. And here we go with the other. Uh, just one second, guys. I think I have a lot of people uh, in. In the chat, okay, okay. Anyways, here we go with the juggle from Melia. Gonna get the wall break? Yes, she does. And on very... Okay. Very cheeky 6P right there from Sanyo. Don't really know what he was searching for. Probably the standing slash from uh, from Melia, which has a very far... Uh, wow, in the wake up overdrive from uh, Maron. I like this. Goes for the extension. Unfortunately, Sanyo did have... Oh, he's gonna pop. He popped, you did. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff from Maron and good awareness. I didn't even pay attention to the blood gauge of Sanyo, but Maron was already on it. Already knew that it was coming and punished accordingly for the kill. Very nicely done. Okay, and on to the second match because it's not over till it's over. And here we go with Sanyo going for the jump in. Wow! Oh, and the tick pressure got the counter. Unfortunately, well, couldn't really get anything out of it because Sanyo did have. The burst gauge to, uh, well, to kill the pressure. And this should result into... Oh, goes for the reset. Wow, and that cheeky. That cheeky cross-up, man. Oh, going for the overdrive. Oh, and the mix. Goes for the low. Goes for the cross-up for the kill. Good stuff from Maron, man. Already up one match in one round. What is Sonya gonna do? Here we go with the back boot. Yo, goes for the jump in, but get six speed, bro. That was big. Very nice empty jump from Maron. Should be able to get the juggle into the corner carry. Goes for the empty low. And no burst from Sanyo. Just holding onto it. Well, it's understandable. He still has some life to try to weather the storm. But gets hit by the Rose. And finally pops the burst. Got the far HS. But Milan traded. Fortunately for them. And just like this. Milan taking it with the sledge. Very nicely done. Okay, 2 to 0. Let's see what Sanyo can do. Uh, yeah, for now, gotta say it's pretty one sided, but you know, it's never over until it's over. So let's see how this pans out. Okay, and on to uh, the. Oh, here we go. Good stuff from Maron. Gets the juggle, goes for the cross up into the grab. What is the mix? It's just a regular jump in into counter it for the kill. And just like this, Maron on match point. What's going to happen? Very, very nice use of the rose right there. Punish the entire attempt from Sanyo. Tried to go for... Oh, Lord, that was a deep sled, but no real punish for Sanyo. Unfortunately, that, was, that wasn't that was enough. Okay, and here we go. Oh, Lord, here we go with the deep grab right there. Yo, Maurice, how are you doing? Into the overdrive for the kill. Yeah, no. <laughs> no kill, but a hard knockdown. What is Sonya going to have to do? And straight into the overhead for the kill. Very nicely done from Maron. Just did some guarding, and then I remember it's that time again on Monday. It's, it's Brojo time. Yes, it is. It's always a pleasure to have you here, by the way, Marisa. Hoping that you'll have a very nice experience here. And a very nice stream, hopefully. And hopefully we won't get a connection error. We didn't. Perfect, I jinxed it, and it's perfect. I jinxed the connection error. That being said, here we go with... Uh, so Tegre actually rocking that mean, mean Potemkin machine <laughs> against Takenoko. So Takenoko is feed the head, by the way. So uh, the JP ki uh, killer, I was going to say no. The, the feed, uh, the uh, JP player in Street Fighter 6. So definitely looking forward to see how he will fare. Unfortunately for him, he does lose the first round, but it's definitely not over to us where, you know... Uh, Street Fighter, not Street Fighter, Guilty Gear can be very unforgiving at sometimes, and sometimes you just, you know, get completely 
uh, you can get completely destroyed by your opponent. It's not necessarily a testament of them being a lot stronger than you, it's just that Guilty Gear is that, that type of game. So sometimes you just have, you know, have to take the DL and try to reset for the next match. Unfortunately for it, wow. But Tegre, man, Tegre with the freaking whiff punish and takes it with a, a very quick first to a 1 to 0. But we'll see, we'll see. It's not over till so let's see how Feed the, the Head is going to adapt to this. Goes for the jumping D. Here we go with the Behemoth. Nice blocks from Tegre. Ooh, and Tegre trying to go with the whiff punish. Uh, the whiff punish, yeah. Tries to go exclusively with the whiff punish. Here we go, probably trying to. Um, uh, to coin that hard knockdown using the uh, slider head. Slider head again, but this time around, man. Take Noko. Or feed the head. Oh, Lord, and he's got the bait on uh, the bird. On the wire I'm sorry. And no burst from Tegri, man. Goes for the, the safe jump. It'd be a, oh, Lord. Okay, nice recognition from Tegri to see that uh, that jump in with the, uh, what's called, with the uh, behemoth was not plus unblocked. And here we go with the kill with the forward HS. OTG for the kill. Very nicely done. Now let's see how this pans out. Okay, finally, Takenoko taking one round. Wow, and that reach so freaking hard. Takenoko catching Tegra, trying to extend his limbs right there. Gets counter hit adequately, man. Ooh, very nice far is though. HS, sorry. Sorry, uh, uh, far is, sorry. Okay, what is going to be the mix? Ooh, long. Oh, okay, here we go with uh, the attempt of Takenoko to try to get that jumping D, but oh, Lord gets scooped by the Garden Pack, man. We go, you are see from Fidel, tries to get out of. Oh, dangerous way. That was an, actually a very fortunate backdash right there from Segre because the follow up of uh, the, um, the far S of Takenoko that he did right when he tried to backdash made it so that Tigre was pushed far away even though he got hit. Oh, and here we go with the scoop and the kill. Good lord, Tigre not out of this yet, man. Puts one round on the board. Let's see if Takenoko can seal the deal. Gets hit by the hammer fall. Oh lord, and again with the Potemkin Buster. Here we go with the tick pressure. Oh no, and Tigre, man, finding the opening, man. Catching Takenoko, pressing some buttons. Oh, a little bit too late on the 6 HS. And still uses the hammer fall. No, the, yeah, the hammer fall and gets the far S. With punish, man. Very nicely done by Tigre. Gets the second match as well. 2-1. to one. What is Fidel gonna do? What is Fidel gonna do? Good lord. Again with uh, this time around the 4HS. Catch his Takenoko out of the air. Go with the slider head. Horses. Beat the head to pop the burst. Nice block right there from Tigre. Ah, no entire. A little bit too far for it probably. And again, man, with the 4HS. 4 HS, man, the 6P of uh, Potemkin. Try to go for the Potemkin Buster. Unfortunately, probably got an execution error right there. But it's still fine. He still got the Potemkin Buster. Here we go with the Garuda Impact. Oh, Lord, and again, man. This has been working so well for Tegre. Using the, uh, the armor from Potemkin to just go right through the Behemoth. Oh, I tried to go for the Potemkin Buster, but this time around... Speed the head was on point, knew what was coming. Tries to go for the overhead, but nice box from Tegre. Finally gets open though. And that was a very nice burst from Tegre. Gets Takenoko in the corner. However, Takenoko was quick to get the uh, the offense back. Here we go, you're in limbo. A very nice far behemoth right there from Speed the head. Finally puts one on the board. Well, one round that is. He needs another one if he wants to send the winner's bracket. Nice with punish though from Tegre, man. This dude. Does not joke around. <laughs> not at all. With the slider head. Ah, uh, yeah, Tegri fishing, man. Fishing for them with punishes. <coughs> okay, this time around, Takenoko recognizing that Tegri tried to hit Takenoko uh, through the mine of uh, Gold Lewis. This time around, just resorted to block and let Tegri get hit by the mine. Oh, Lord, that mega fist, man. Even gets the follow-up. Oh, that was big. Good stuff from Tigre. Ooh, here we go with the forest counter hit. Oh, what is going to happen? Uh, a little bit too far to get anything. Oh, Lord, yeah. Beat the head. Oh, and dire straight. And this should do. Good stuff from Tigre. It takes it a clean natural. None other than Usui Booty versus Akihila. Thank you very much for the uh, follow, Fujimonsa. Uh, uh, yeah, Fujimonsa. To your, to your show. <laughs> 
そうねえっ、ー、とまあ一応本大会にふ、まあ、普段参加されている方はほとんどみんな強い<笑>本当に最初はもう誰でもどんなレベルでもいいよってちゃんと宣伝したのに最近のブロジョハイのレベルがもう半端ないもうマジもう本当に半端ないもうほとんど強人しか出てこない強人まあ強い人しか出てこないよなので頑張って<笑>頑張ってピンダヘッド Anyways here we go with Oh the corner pressure from u s u i b u r i tries to keep Akira in the corner Akira trying to fight his way out of it though Here we go with Oh lord Oh find the opening couldn't quite get the juggle though this is unfortunate for him Oh, almost got the punish on the Beyblade. Akira did recover a little bit too quick for this. We go with the BRC from Akira trying to catch. Usiburi uh, trying to get up. Oh no, drops it, but it's. Oh lord, that cheeky stretch. A、uh, close S from Akira almost caught、uh, Usiburi、uh, out of the air, but still, Usiburi was able, to,、um, was able to seal the deal very nicely, by the way. Just one second, guys. Okay, here we go. And here we go, the juggle from Akira does not get the wall splat, but it's still okay like this since he keeps the corner. And w i t a i r gets hit by the falling Roger, the Roger Meteorite, as I like to call it. And here we go, the far chest almost got the conversion station, but didn't believe in it. This is really unfortunate, but it's fine, it's fine. Oh lord, and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Somersault unfortunately gets hit by the blood explosion. From Akira, but this should do very nice. Confirm from Usui Buri. Recognized that the far chest was gonna hit counter hit and immediately um, uh, canceled it to, I guess it's the killing machine? Rock the machine? I forgot the name. Rock the machine, kill the machine?、Uh, killing machine? Something? Well, the, the fiery Roger. I don't remember how you call it. <laughs> Still, anyways, here you go with the corner pressure from Usui Buri. Gets hit though by Akira. Finds the knockdown. Goes for the low. Gets the jewel almost. Akira does have the corner positioning. Very nice use of this clo the close S, but we simply recognize that、uh, Akira was definitely gonna try to entire him. So just read. Wow! That 2 HS counter hit, though, this did a lot of damage, man. It, 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 it immediately forced u s u b u r i to pop the bird. But this should do with the、uh, Roman cancel extension from u s u b u r i gets the kill with the 2 HS. Very nicely done. What is Akira Ishida gonna do? He needs. Right now,、uh, three, four rounds in a row. Well, two rounds actually. Three, well, two rounds if he wants to put one on the board. And、uh, yeah, it's needless to say that Usuri definitely has the. Oh, yeah. Has the lead. Let's see how this pans out. Ah, tries to go for the jump. And he finds the jumping with the jumping P. Ah, and the 2S counter hit and goes for the killing machine to try to seal the deal. Because Akira does have the burst if he saw that Usubu. Oh, wow, that was a miss! Time command grab from Akira. This is so unfortunate. But it's still okay. It's not over till it's over. He has one more chance to try to bring it back. Let's see if、uh, he can actually manage to do so. But as you know,、uh, Guilty Gear is a very volatile tab type of game, so it's definitely now out of the realm of possibility for Akira to actually do so. Akira forced to pop the burst. Who gets hit by the aerial? Yo, yo, ooh, wake up, deep, b e e from u s u i Booty, not afraid. With the Beyblade, catches the back dash. Nice blocks. Oh, tries to go for the grab. Notices that it's definitely gonna whip, and Roman cancels, make it safe. And even catch Akira,、uh, trying to back dash. Oh, Lord. Oh, nice stuff from u s u i Booty, man. Ooh, gets the kill with the juggle. Just like this, we are on match point, man. u s u i Booty being extremely, extremely aggressive. Oh, Lord, but gets hit by the forest, though. Hit、yeah, what up? Boom! Here we go, the closest counter hit. Forest is finally using me to pout the burst. Ooh, here we go, the tick pressure using the Fukio in and out, bro. Oh, Lord, and the BRC into the command grab and gets hit higher, though, by the jumping D. But it's gonna be the mix. Goes for the. Oh, the delayed、uh, aerial attack with the jumping D. Nice optimization. Ah, drops the combo, but it's still okay. Pull force says Akira swap the burst. And the 6B for the kill. Nice awareness from Akihira, man. Definitely not out of this yet. Just needs a little bit more motivation, a little bit more momentum, and it's definitely about to come back. But yeah, this is probably not the easiest matchup for Nagori Yuki, not gonna lie. Here we go with the jump. Goes for the command grab. Back to Fuki. Probably was trying to bait the DP. Nice 6B from Akihira, bro. Here we go with the dick pressure transfer to go for the grab. Almost got the 6P entire, but 
Yeah, the placement made it so that it freaking whiffed, unfortunate for him. Here we go, the safe jump. Catches the backdash with the yo-yo. Will go immediately into the overdrive for the hard knockdown. What is going to be the mix? Safe jump. Goes for the low and directly into another overdrive. Enough to kill. And just like this, man, Usuguli with Nagoriyuki. So both extremely strong. Rui probably has a little bit more of a uh, track record in tournaments, but definitely do not disregard Atem. He has uh, bested some of the best players out there, uh, especially in my tournament. <laughs> so yeah, definitely looking forward to how this is going to pan out. And here we go on to the first battle, Roy versus Atemu. Wow, very nice checks right there from Atemu. Checking, checking Roy, seeing that he's being a little bit too nimbly. <laughs> Catching his uh, dash attempt. Okay, anyways, here we go. Tries to get the jump in, and it has started. <laughs> the forest pressure from Roy and from Sol. Obviously, here we go with the mix. And nice blocks from Atemu. It does get opened by the grab, though. And the tick pressure is on. Forest, forest, forest again. Found the opening with the counter hit. And this should pretty much do. Yeah. Doesn't need the wall splat. Doesn't need the wall break. Good stuff from Roy. Gets the first round. Oh, nice whip on it. And a big man. Woo! Did he use the deep key to make it so that the burst was gonna win? If that is so, that was sick from Atemu. Go straight into the Wasude Yuki for added damage. Plus the hard knockdown so we will get a mix no well mix or pressure unless uh, roy just decides to wake up dp which he does <laughs> i know these players like the back of my hand man i've been commentating them for so freaking long and as we go to take the throw from roy <laughs> goes for the trick pre the take pressure gets the counter hit and not enough but it's still fine oh, that, that is pretty decent damage not gonna lie and no, no, entire red there. Almost got the. Oh, yeah. No, oh, no, yeah. No, yeah, he had to burst, man. Oh, yeah, he had to burst. He had to burst. That was so hard to burst right there. You choose which timing you wanted to burst because you had so many different places that Roy could bait it out. That was really, really hard for Atemu to do anything about it. But good thing. Good good stuff. Good stuff. Anyways, here we go with the forest counter. This is going to do a lot of damage. Catches the backdash with the forest. Gonna get the wall splat. Well, the wall break, actually. Mm. Oh, sorry. Of <laughs> the post wall break 6P, of course. Of course, man. Closest. Here we go. And Roy, man, just holding on. Finally, forced to pop the burst. Gets hit by the jumping HS, though. Ah, Atemu trying to bait that DP out, but Roy not giving it to him. Ooh, almost got the forest, though. Ooh, forest. Here we go. <laughs> ah, he dropped. Oh, goes for the low this time around. And no. Burst from Atemu, and look at the conversion station of that dude, bro. Good stuff from Sol Roy. Gotakua, Yirane. Good stuff from Roy. Anyways, on to the next battle. And that Abari from Roy, man. The challenge finds the opening, forces Atemu to pop the burst. We go with the gun flame. Ah, Atemu again getting opened by the far S counter hit, man. Using the HS of Vortex to get the corner carry into the bend and bringer for the wall break. Oh, get to us to check the uh, the dashes before dashes ah, again with the forest man. Gonna get again the corner carry and this should do yeah. Doesn't need the wall break yet again. And Roy taking that hefty life lead and not life lead but score lead man. Two zero. What is that Tim gonna do? What is that Tim gonna do? We shall see. And is there a good to jump in? No, oh, Lord! I tried to entire Atem, but for some reason he wasn't able to do so. Probably because of the jumping P properties of Atem, of, of, um, of Nago. Ooh, nice challenge right there from Atem. Finds the opening. Ooh, almost got the follow up, but couldn't quite confirm there, but it's still fine. Got the opening. Goes for the. Oh, no! Oh, it's popping time. Very good, the vortex. Is that gonna kill? Oh, no! Oh no, it almost killed! That was so close! I thought it was gonna kill! It's still not a- Wow, oh, I tried to go for the grab! Oh! Oh, and we got DP from Roy yet again! Man, that dude, bro, that dude! Roy doesn't care! He doesn't care, bro! Hey, you wanna pressure me? I'm a wake up DP, I don't care! Here we go with the 2 HS from Atemu to counter hit. Ah, uh, cannot find the opening. Ah, 4 HS, no one's home! 
Nice jump out from Roy. Got the corner positioning this time around, but Atemu forcing Roy ever so slightly in the middle. And again, Atemu with the the blow up of the burst, not the with the the blood explosion. This is so unfortunate for him. Yeah, already down like most of his life. He really needs to play perfectly if he wants to take it. Here we go, the Bandit Bringer didn't get the punish! Oh no! And Roy tried to go for that sneaky command grab, but Atemu is on point, man. Very nicely done. It goes straight into the Wasura Yuki. Too far to hit, but it's still, well, too hard, to, oh, too far to get the, the animation, but it actually worked out in his favor. Because now he gets the juggle plus another Wasura Yuki for the kill. Atemu not out of this yet. Good stuff. That actually went pretty freaking close, man. Good stuff, good stuff. Not gonna lie. Here's where we go with the bandit. Roy is on match point, not gonna lie. He's on set point, actually. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Ah, nice forest counter hit again with Roy finding the opening. Goes for the closest counter hit. Ah, he goes for the extension. Look at the damage. Ah, guilty gear. Ah, guilty gear. <laughs> Good stuff from Roy, man. Ooh, and the Abare again, man. Ooh, no, the closest actually whiffed because yeah you missed time this meaty but it's fine still fine does have the life lead and again with the forest forcing Atemu to pop the burst okay Atemu trying to find out some way to keep him on the ground and it's mixed time Wirecy tries to go for the command grab but Roy reading it jumps out and punish accordingly Roy takes it three it's how you transcribe this uh this expression in English I, I do believe it's something different though but it's fine it's fine anyway here we go on to the next battle, early tie versus caffeine. So these two, I don't recall having them play against each other, but uh, we shall see how this pans out. I do know that early type doesn't necessarily like the mad the Majo, the Jacko uh, matchup, but uh, yeah, let's see how this pans out. Goes for the safe jump, goes for the grab yet again. Go, oh, almost got the oh lord, and the cheeky does into the illusion driver for the kill. Good driver, <laughs> with a perfect nonetheless, man. In English, similar is speak of the devil and she shall appear. Here you go. Yeah, so it's not the wolf, it's it's the devil. So yeah, it's a little bit different, but yeah, it's basically the same. Yeah, we in French, it's the wolf. In uh, English-speaking countries, it's the devil. That's good, that's good. Good to know, the more you know. Anyways, here we go with the jump in by early time. Try to keep a cafe in the corner. Look at that 2D, man. The 2D doesn't care. And the tick pressure is on. Caffeine definitely does not want early type to get out of this pressure. Nice delayed burst right there from uh, from early type to get out of the corner. And here we go. Time to rock, bro. I'm going to take you to the corner. I'm going to mix your freaking world. A nice block from Caffeine. Oh, he goes for the command grab. The cheeky early type. Good stuff from early type. Big W for the Jacko Bros yesterday. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Ad Adventure, yeah. He won the uh, Theo. That was pretty crazy, especially since he complained that he complained like right before that, like Jacko, she has too many bad matchups and whatnot. I'm telling you, like people are starting to realize that Jacko is really strong. I've been saying that ever since the first day that Jacko came out. Uh, I said, yeah, Jacko is gonna be super strong. I don't care even if people say that she's weak or whatnot. Jacko is gonna be super strong. Like, and I know, I know. I I hate playing against Jacko because I know that she's so freaking strong. That tweet has definitely been added to the list of iconic journey to yeah, definitely. Every single, every single uh, big, uh, how do you say, big players retweeted it and said and copy pasted. Basically, it was pretty funny. It was really freaking funny. Not gonna lie. Yeah, but yeah, to be honest, I really think that Jacko is really strong. I've always said it personally. All of these characters that have very strong corner pressure, which uh, if is not checked, you get basically infinite pressure, is are strong in my in my book. And this is basically. Zato, uh, what's her name? Well, Jacko, obviously. You also have like Gold Lewis. What else do you have? Uh, to some extent, Chip, if he has like positive bonus. Uh, Ram also is really strong. So all of these characters who have very, very strong corner pressure, like to me, they're they're all like in the top part of the tier list, in my opinion. Uh, even Happy Chaos, by the way. Yeah, but to some extent, though, Happy Chaos, because Happy Chaos you can really keep him out if you um, if you uh, if you use the uh, what's it called. The I heard the name the faultless defense yeah the FD in my opinion I know some people are gonna say yeah but it's not really true whatever whatever but yeah I still feel that she's not on par with other yeah I do know that Westerners still still really like to say that Happy Girls is like super 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 strong I think he's strong and don't mind don't don't uh, don't misunderstand me but yeah 
Anyways, yeah, just just saying that yeah, Jacko is really pretty strong, in my opinion. But look at that, man! Early type cooking all sorts of dishes right now. Damn! Let's go with the resets. Goes in front this time around. Nice block by Caffeine though. Goes for the equipment, the uh, overhead butt. Caffeine with the blocks. But this time around gets opened up and dies to the Ototoy. Come on! And it doesn't have DKs enough though. It's true. Yeah, exactly. Now, honestly, I, I kind of do agree. I know that people are gonna give me shit for this, but I kind of do agree. I don't know if you guys remember uh, No. So he's the Happy Chaos player who got a little bit dumped on by like US by saying that like yeah, Happy Chaos isn't really as strong as what the West tends to believe. But I do agree with what he said. Basically, is like using FD completely destroys Happy Chaos in close uh, in close quarters. And I actually, I actually believe it's true. Like, if you FD him correctly, not when he shoots you, but when he tries to, like, hit you with the close... What was it? I think it's the close S and uh, the follow-up is 6, six, six, uh, six K with it. If you FD this, it actually makes it very hard for him to continue his, uh, his, um, his uh, well, his pressure, basically. So, yeah, I, I believe that, yeah, and then, yeah, I know he still has, like, his uh, full corner, full, not his whole, his full, uh... How do you call it? His full screen uh, pressure. I do believe, I know he has it, but it's really not as bad as what some people want to make it believe, I think. It's boring, yes, fair enough. I don't like fighting Happy Gals either, but it's not as strong as what people can say. And I do not like, yeah, I don't like him either, by the way. <laughs> I sometimes think NA doesn't lap solutions enough. Yeah, exactly. I think so too. I think it's uh, relevant for most people, to be honest. But yeah, probably Japanese players tend to lab a little bit more things that annoy them. I, I guess, and complain less about it, I, I suppose, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, that's the impression I have. But yeah, uh, Happy Gals is not a problem in, in Asia. Like, people don't even really think he's that strong, so... I do believe he's strong, though, don't 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 get me wrong. I really think he, he is strong, but it's just he's not as strong as what people want to make him... Want to make people think... Hmm? Want to make it seem, I guess. To be fair, he's hard to lab since you have to learn him. Wish there was a replay takeover. Yeah, but... Mm, I, I feel like... Hardness to play a given character is not is no excuse for the character to be extremely strong. <laughs> I feel like it's it's not really it's it's irrelevant. Uh, it's not irrelevant, but it doesn't really change the fact that the character is still freaking strong. But the thing is that Happy Gals is not that strong. Well, he's strong. He's strong, I think, but not to the point of what some people want to make believe. I think sometimes, not always, but sometimes JP players have a bit more respect for the game and don't just jump on Twin. Uh, waiting for patches. Yeah, yeah. Though that could be, uh, I have less exposure to uh, JP players and language barriers. Yeah, uh, so my 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 problem uh, per se with with JP is not really a problem, but it's just that I play Cami and I, I am like 100% sure that the 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 matchup, the JP matchup, is in favor of Cami. I'm like 100% sure. So JP has never really been a problem for me because I I can like I go I can go over his tools whatever happens. So it's fine, but yeah, I, I I feel like he might be really strong, but with the current tools that Kami has, I feel like it, it, for me it's not really bothersome. Wow, that wake up overdrive, but got hit by the minion out of it. That's crazy. And here we go. Oh, early time almost got. Oh, and they should probably do if he baits the DP the the burst. He didn't. Oh, Lord, but get hit by the minion. Just one hit, one hit. That's all you need. Oh, Lord, it is XP, but gets scooped by the 2P. That was sick. Good stuff from uh, from Caffeine, yo. Okay, so, uh, let me uh, read what you guys have uh, posted. No, you're right. I shouldn't affect balance assessment. Yeah, well, it's just my opinion, you know. I'm, I'm not a... I'm no, I'm no authority on the matter by no by no means, but it's my it's my my opinion. Uh, that said, doesn't Jackal just have hell matchup with HC and May? Apparently, yeah. Apparently, it's like death matchup for her. Because, well, HC can basically hit her from across the screen and she can't really do anything and kills, literally kills her minions by doing so, so yeah. I feel like she has the advantage against most of the cast, I feel, in my opinion. But I could definitely be, be wrong, you know? Yeah, yeah, bam, Faust winning a major, exactly, man. Leo, bro, Leo is so strong. Got uh, got sponsored quite recently, too, by Ibushi Game. The same uh, organization as uh, Roy, the soul player that we saw earlier today. Well, today, that we saw earlier during the stream. That being said, here we go with Amato. Ooh, he was almost. Oh, he was almost gonna get punished. That being said, here we go. No entire from Amato, but it's still okay. He got the command grab. Kohide doing a lot of uh, strange uh, stuff here, but got the punish on the attempt, the crossover attempt from Amato. Amato with the raw mix, mix, mix still caught the uh, 
can't do Oh, Lord. Oh, no. You activated little Faust. But still, okay. Here we go. The bomb. Amato. Got the... Yeah, got the hammer time. No, no, no. Not like this. That being said, Koide finds the drill. Gonna get the wall break. Very nicely done. And, ooh, nice back dash from Amato. Ah, and this should do. Oh, no. Koide with the rare drop right there. Ah, here we go. The wire. See Amato catching the back dash. Ah, uh, tries to go for the trumpet, but unfortunately, Kohide was aware of it. Went straight with the jumping overdrive. Yeah, she's polarizing and that having bad matchup. Yeah, she also gives uh, others uh, bad matchup. Yeah, she does, she does, man. She's so stressful to play against, too, man. Like, you're like, okay, if I get hit by one one thing on the screen that she throws at me, or if she touches me once, I'm going to have to block for the next freaking four minutes. <laughs> I, I'm exaggerating, obviously, but... Yeah, she's very, very stressful to play against. You know that if you do one error, if she finds... Even not one error, but if you block once against her, it's over. Like, you have to... You're gonna have to block for for, eggies, for days, you know, so... That being said, Amato, man, here we go with the pressure. Unfortunately, he is on death door right now, as you can see with the health. What is gonna be his plan? Wow, that TP, though! No, he almost got the juggle! He almost had the juggle on the mix, mix, mix. This is so unfortunate for him, but it's fine. Koide takes the first match. Let's see if Amato can somehow shift the tide of battle and bring it back. We shall see. Okay, loser bracket going pretty smooth as well. So who do we have in the winner's bracket for now? We have Koide, Amato, Hagiara, Roy, and uh, Uguisuburi. Uguisuburi. Uguisuburi and early tide. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. We have some good matches coming up, guys. Hopefully you are looking forward to them as well. Nice wall break from Koide. And the kill by Kohide with the uh, what was it? It's the simple tour. Yeah. Here we go. The jump in by Kohide. Who gets scooped by the dive though? And Amato with the follow up. It's the juggle. Oh, he almost baited the gold bird. Well, he did bait it, but he couldn't quite punish it though. Almost got the punish on a nice bag that though from Amato. Tries to go for the mix, 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 but Kohide was on point with it. He blocked. Very, very, very proficiently here. Gonna get the wall break with the Ventania. What is the mix? Save jump. Ooh, okay. Oh, Lord. And the bar from Amato. Gets the mix, mix, mix for the... Oh, okay, here we go with the bomb. Okay, he's got... Oh, no. No, no. Stop backdashing, sir. You backdash way too much. Wow, wow, wow. The wire seed. Ooh. And he's got the freaking anti-air with the two. Was it? That's the three... K, right? I think. Yeah, that's probably the 3k. I'm pretty sure it's a 3k. Good stuff from Amato, man. Got the entire right there. I honestly thought that you know, Koide was going to get his turn back off of that YRC, but he was in the air, so it does change a little bit the properties of at which you can you can uh, get your turn back. Nice uh, juggle from Amato. Goes for the 3k. Probably noticing that Koide back that's a wee bit too much. Yeah, the 3k should be able to scoop both the backdash and anything else that Koide tries to do on Wake Up, except if it's a reversal, obviously. Oh, Lord, and Amato is out. Get scooped, though, by the cannon drill. Oh, and the Wake Up. Oh, Lord. Oh, and the double golden burst. If one golden burst is not enough, do it twice. But, yeah, this is going to kill. No! Oh, and it takes pressure and gets the kill with the simple tour. Right? Thanks to the wall splat. Good stuff from Kohide, man. Even in a very Abare type of situation, still was able to keep his head on his shoulders and seal the deal. Very nicely done. Let's see how this spins out. We go to far S. A very nice swift punish from Kohide. Go straight for the dash. He's gonna get a wall breaker here. Yes, he does. That just the first hit of the 2K. Got it. Uh, anyways, here we go. Ooh, good stuff from Kohide. I uh, couldn't quite get the juggle though. Amato with the sweep. Uh, and little Faust here to save the day. Oh, and that, wow, that freaking, that recognition that Amato is going to take to the air from Kohide. Uh, Kohide, Golden Burst. Or not. Ah, uh, little Faust. Still here to save the day. It's little Faust again, a little How many freaking little Fausts can one Faust can get? Anyways, ah, here we go, the overdrive, man. It's still her turn, bro. Golden burst, here we go. Ah, uh, Nasante. Wow, what the hell happened here? Damn. Still in the explosion. I couldn't quite keep track of what was going on. 
But yeah, Kohita just was blown away, literally. <laughs> ah, that was an unfortunate mix, mix, mix from Amato. He's that guy, exactly. And here we go. Oh, with Kohita and the tick pressure. Goes for the golden burst. Are you serious? Are you serial? Kohita straight into the overdrive. Look at the damage. Ah, guilty gear. Oh, he tried to go for the overhead. Instant one. Oh, but yeah. Here we go with the kill. And... Kohida is on set point. Let's see if he can seal the deal. Or give a one more opportunity for Amato. And that 6P goal. That crazy 6P goes for the 2S. Well splat into wall bait. Here we go with the counter hit. Ah, little Faust is out to play. Couldn't quite push Kohida in the in little Faust, but still okay, he's here. Oh lord, the bombs. No entire. Oh, and the mix, mix, mix to catch Kohida again. Woo, this is gonna be a big punish. Good stuff from Ah, and yeah, Kohide at the extension, and yeah. That was worst save, by the way. That was game set. He could not do anything here. Anyways, here we go. On to the next battle. It's gonna be Usubiri versus early type. Let's see how this spins out. So Usubiri very strong. Well, both, uh, not both. But Usubiri did win a previous Brojo Cup tournament. I don't recall exactly when it was. It was probably like one or two months ago. So very strong Bridget player. Extremely strong one at that. Yeah. Oh no, that was a good burst. Nice burst early time. This is gonna hurt. Oh, that bag dash though, man. Goes for the 2S. Probably fearing that early tap was going to wake up with a DP. And here we go with the optimization station. Oh, it's going to kill. Wow. Okay. I didn't think that the overdrive did that much damage. Well, it's just that ship has no health, probably. Nice air to air from Usuburi. Almost got the juggle, by the way. Oh, here we go. The surprise. No entire. Yes, entire. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Early tap extremely hard to entire this man he knows exactly what's in your head at what time you want to go for the entire at what time you don't and that's probably what this player's like strongest suit i feel is his his ability to know that you want to entire his ass and like doing something else like altering his trajectory to make it with and then punish you and this and knowing exactly when he can jump on you when you're your attention is diverted to something else yeah yeah the early tab is really good at that in my opinion and obviously, very good mixes, very good uh, confirms as well. I wouldn't be surprised if early type is very is uh, has young, is young and therefore has like young men reactions as well. Let me said, here we go with oh the take pressure. El Gamble, nice punish right there on the Gamble attempt. Oh Lord, Summit Sun, latest state of the carry at the time. Ah, ちょうどいいですね。今 early type Sun がちょうどいいま。えっと、何試合に出てるんでちょうどいいですよね。<laughs> 配信はお疲れ様でしたでレイドしていただき本当にありがとうございます Anyways, here we go with Oh lord, that 2D counter hit from early type Oh, here we go with the jump in Early type getting the juggle Should be able to Oh, he goes for the reset Good stuff from him And he got the air grab Such a bad reaction for Dizu Gonna go straight into the Auto toy, come on <laughs> Good stuff from early type, but it's gonna be the mix. Goes for the safe jump and regular low for the kill. Early type takes the first match, man. Good stuff. Let's see if uh, Usuburi can actually manage to adapt and eventually, uh, yeah, try to seal the deal. Here we go, the jump in. Very nice air to air from Usuburi. Ooh, almost got entire right there. No follow up right there from early type. Goes for the shuriken. Oh, and that wall bounce. Forcing Usuburi to pop the burst. Very nice aerial grab again. Good stuff. Goes for the safe jump. And again, man, that overhead. It's been doing so good stuff for him, man. Samit-san no haishin kara nagarete kimashita. Ali type san. Fight to this. Fight to this, Ali san. Ali san, tsuyoi shi yo ne. Ma, so s ne. Samit-o san to me chak chak naka yoi ishi desi ne. Eto, Ali type san ga. De, just like this, early type is. On the lead and on the verge of getting the second match. Let's see how this spins out. Very nice entire from Usuguri. Oh, got the juggle. Oh, and the 2HS. Oh, Lord. Pitch him out just right out of the air. Here we go with the butt for the wall break. Oh, no, and the jumping. And this should be enough. Very nicely done from Usuguri. Definitely a very strong player as well. Definitely should not be uh, underestimated. Oh, Lord. 
Okay, no wake up options right there. Oh! Okay, here we go to take pressure. Early type trying to find the opening. Uh, early type. Oh, almost got hit by the uh, uh, by the Roger fall. Air to air. Yeah, both players trying to get the trying to get the initiative, but yeah, the other one won't let them take it so easily. Ah, here we go to do S counter hit. Uh, no entire. Oh no! And the six P whipped. Early type tried to bait the burst. Unfortunately. Usubri was definitely on point and on. Yeah, Early tap goes for the cross up. Tries to find the opening, but yeah, man. Usubri not giving it to him. Goes for the Roman cancel extension. Here we go with the Alpha Blade. Oh, and the overhead this time around. Usubri was looking for it. Gets the side switch. Unfortunately, gets whiff punish. We're going to jump in. Oh, no, 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 sorry. No command grab for you, bro. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Oh, wow, the forest counter hit, though. And this should be enough to seal the deal. 2-2-0. Two, two, uh, actually, it's here. Sorry. 2-0 two, two, for early type. Is he going to be? This is going to be potentially the match set right here. The set set. Actually, the set set. The set match. Anyways. <laughs> oh, nice. 6P again for Musubri. Definitely on point. Does not want uh, early type to jump on him because he knows that it is the start of problems in all types and shapes. Nice punish, nice punish from early type. Got the opening. And Usubi doesn't have any burst to get out of the... Oh, he goes for the low, though. Nice air to air from early type. Forces Usubi to re wake up with DP. Oh, nice air to air. Oh, almost got the... Well, almost got the extension. And early type with no bar could not get the extension either. We go to RC. Catches the back dash with the, uh, the closest. Oh, goes for delayed. Uh, uh, the delay 2K actually worked in, uh, worked to open early tap up. But here we go with early tap and the corner pressure, man. You're not getting out of there. Go back there. <laughs> oh lord. Oh, and he got the bait on the burst. Good stuff from early type, taking a hefty lead and on set point right now. Let's see how this spins up. Oh lord. Here we go with the pressure. Got the jump in. Mune Hashimoto. Ashimoto and uh, uh. good stuff from oh Subiri unfortunately was not out of the corner when they decided to press a button and got counter hit into the auto toy come on no poor Subiri oh and here we go with the uh, cross sub gets hit by the overhead and they should do good stuff from good stuff from early time takes it a very very clean three to got go by that so yeah uh Hagia actually managed to make uh, top two against uh, TY two weeks ago in the previous uh, Brojo Cup uh, tournament. And uh, yeah, he gave him a pretty nice run for his money. So definitely strong player. We're going to see how this pans out, though. And on to the next battle. Here we go. This is the second winner's semifinal. After this, we shall be moving to the loser's bracket up until the loser's semifinal, after which we'll switch uh, to the winner's uh, final. So yeah, we still have a lot of matches tonight. Definitely hope you're looking forward to it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look! And here we go with the burst from Hagiara. Gets hit by the jumping overdrive from Kohide, who takes it with a perfect now, clean perfect. Very nicely done from Kohide. Let's see if Hagiara can adapt. We shall see. I do believe that Hagiara uh, actually managed to. I think they uh, eliminated Kohide in the previous uh, tournament, if I'm not mistaken. That being said, yeah, things are. <laughs> Pretty much going Koki this way, as you can see. Not gonna lie. There we go with the grab. Very nice counter grab right there from Agera. Forces Koki to pop the burst. Ooh, ah, and the big, the big cannon drill counter hit. Man, that did so much, so much, so much damage. And the first match goes to Koki Day. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, I'm going to uh, get a couple, a cup of uh, water. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, sorry for the wait. 
and on to the next battle and the tick pressure from how yeah i wanted to force go in the corner finds the opening with the 2d counter hit into the overdrive and this is gonna kill illusion driver let's see how this spins out Ah, the big 2D counter hit right off the beginning of the match from Kohide. Gets the corner carry into the wall break. Ah, good stuff from Kohide. Gets some pretty nice damage. But here is the kick pressure from Hagira. Probably trying to fish for that golden... The, the YRC. Oh, Lord! And that aerial grab from Hagira gets another aerial grab. Are you serious? <gasps> and the confirms, man! Right off the throw of the minion. Is that gonna kill? Nice, nice, nice. Oh, he tries to go for the extension. I ah, know. Wake up overdrive from Goyden, man. He loves to do it, too. Goes straight for the extension station. Gets the side switch. Forces Hagira to pop the burst. Oh! Oh! Oh, the tick throw. Oh, careful there. It's fine, it's fine. No, be careful with the... Oh, Lord, is he going to get the ODD? Oh, and get scooped by the standing K. Good stuff for um, Koide, though. Didn't pop the burst, which is a win uh, right now for him. <clears throat> Anyways, here we go with the burst. Ah, uh, and I got uh, catching that bag dash with the 5HS, man. Good stuff from him. Oh, Lord, again with the aerial grab, man. This is... The oh. Oh yeah, definitely on point. Definitely noticing that Koide always likes to jump out of the corner. Yo, Zim Torrific, Zim Torrific, how you doing, bro? Welcome back. And here we go with the Elysium Driver for the kill. Hagara puts one on the board. We have a match, ladies and gents. Eight, I we do. Very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out. Koide definitely not going to. <laughs> change characters i mean Ko yeah koide only plays diorana he's a character uh loyalist anyways here we go with the tick pressure from kohide tries to find the opening gets the opening with the grab goes for another grab uh he tried to go for another one but this oh no and then asante to save the day nice uh confirms though from uh, kohide noticing that hagara had jumped out of his grab attempt oh lord Oh, tries to go for the grab too, but this time around, Koide was the one to sniff it out and punish it accordingly for the kill. Oh, Lord. Oh, here goes the 5HS. I got trying to read that back dash, but Koide had woken up with Golden Burst instead. Here we go, the jump in. Koide finds the opening. Goes for the quick Roman cancel. Baits the burst out. And gonna get a huge punish off of it. Damn. Good stuff from Koide. Gets the wall break. Oh, catches the bag dash with the standing K and gets the kill. Yeah, Kohide, man. Kohide on his way to the winner's final. Not quite yet. He still needs one more in order to do so, but it is within reach. Let's see if he can actually secure the deal. Nice jump in, gets the cross up, goes for the cannon drill. Forcing I get spot the burst. Oh. And let's see with the tick pressure again with the freaking air grabs, man. From Hagia punishes the golden burst attempt, too. Oh, Lord, but Kohide with the back dash in the corner, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Goes for the kick flip. And here we go with damage time, bro. That being said, Hagia does have one bar. Kohide does not. Ah, nice. Ooh, almost got the juggle. No, not like that. Ah, uh, here we go. Yeah, it's pressure time. Kohide is saved by the YRC. Ah, and goes low, goes all in. Gets the kill. We are on set point, ladies and gentlemen. Who's going to take it? Is Kohide going to be able to take it? We're going to take pressure. Nice Abari right there from Agana gets out of harm's way. Well, temporarily at least. Kohide resorts to using an air to air to keep Agana in the corner. Agana continues with the take pressure. Oh, uh, Lord, no more minions to save the day, though. Uh. Here we go with the air grab again, bro. I get a trying to jump out of it, but yeah, the arc of the jumping overdrive of made it so that, yeah, he just couldn't. It was way too late to do so. And forced him back on the ground, but that being said, I get a... The air grabs have really been working in his advantage. Not gonna lie, good stuff. 
Kohide grabbing Hagira right after his attempt to use 5HS. We go with the kick flip. Kohide going with the low. Gets scooped by Hagira Preston buttons. And here we go, corner pressure. Here we go into the Elysium driver right away. Okay, no chill, no chill. <laughs> Good stuff from my guy. And look at the damage, bro. Look at the damage. Nice jump over the cannon drill. Oh, he defines the opening with the grab. Oh, he tried to go for a BRC combo right there. Instant overhead, but yeah, I think he messed up the timing, unfortunately. Still okay. Here we go to 2K2D. Oh no, not like this, he had it! But Kohide pops the burst, man, doesn't want to have to deal with this. Oh no, not like this, is this gonna kill? No, it's actually not. Thankfully for uh, Hagiara, who was able to not get killed by during this combo. If the wall splat happened like a wee bit uh, later, it would have been really, really hard. Okay, here we go, the tick pressure, and Hagiara staying alive. And actually, wow, it is going down to the last match, guys. Is it one of these rare instances where we are going down to the last match of the last last round of the last match? We shall see. Hopefully so. Here we go with the jump in. Ah, Koi forcing Hagiara to pop the burst. Here we go with the tick pressure. Gets the juggle. Gonna get the wall break. Ah, and again with the 2D counter, it should be able to seal it. Yes, he does. Except with the perfect, nevertheless. Wow. Good lord. And the golden burst from Kohide yet again goes for the grab. Oh, and just a regular jump in. This will do a huge amount of damage. Ventania. Good stuff from Goide. Goes for the close-up pressure. Tries to go for BRC again, but messes it up. Oh, Lord. Nice take from Agera. And Kohide takes it with the grab right at the end. Loser's bracket. Well, not first loser's bracket match, but currently first streamed loser's bracket match. We shall see. Caffeine versus Moody. Uh, okay. We didn't have a single uh, connection error, which I am very, very grateful for. Here we go with the closest counter, not counter hit, but anti air from Moogie. Uses the Beyblade to try to push Caffeine ever so slightly in the corner. But the tick pressure has started. Caffeine already, man, doing work. Going to find the opening, goes for a sliding Roman cancel into the 2k. For the opening, forces Mugi to pop the burst. And here we go with the jump in, man. Oh, oh lord! The caffeine finding the opening with the 2k. Caffeine going ham, going straight into the Forever Illusion Driver. And Mugi answers in due fashion with the overdrive, but unfortunately gets scooped by the Akuma Fireball. Okay, here we go with Mugi in the corner, trying to keep that pressure going. Ah! Moogie has the bite, goes for a second one, and goes straight into the 6HS for the kill. One round of peace. Who is going to take the first match? We shall see. Very nice with punish from Moogie, preventing Caffeine from having any sort of momentum back. Caffeine struggling so much to try to get that same hit in. In order to push Mugi out of the freaking out of the way. But yeah, Mugi like a freaking wall just stays right in front of Caffeine. Goes for the tick pressure. And finds the opening with the forest. Counter hit. Takes it with a perfect. Very nicely done by Mugi. Mugi still plays sick. Yes he does. He's always played. He's always gonna play too, I feel. Like 
Free Fighter or what, like other type of games? I I'm pretty sure it's not really Moogie's type of uh, type of coffee. So not really his thing. Yeah, like Guilty Gear is definitely the game for Moogie. I don't think he's ever gonna stop playing it. And here's with the jump in by Caffeine. Finds the counter hit. Goes for the cross up. Oh Lord! And look at that conversion station. Ah, uh, Caffeine going it with into the tab dust for the opening and gets the illusion driver for the, not the kill. Almost got the kill. But I feel like they nerfed this overdrive, but it's probably not the case. I feel like it does less damage than before. But anyways, here we go with uh, Caffeine getting this first. Uh, speaking of which, I didn't update the score. Here you go. Caffeine getting that first round of that uh, second match. Fortunate side switch for Moogie, who didn't intend it, but still fine. Trying to push Caffeine in the corner. Big Twitch has counter hit right there from Moogie. Oh, is he gonna? Uh, he's gonna get hit. Oh, wow. Okay, we're not. I think he was gonna get hit. I think he was he was just out of the uh, the range of the of the overdrive uh, command grab probably. Damn, that was so close, man! So close for him, caffeine. And here we go with the Akuma fireball, but gets hit by the Beyblade. Go take pressure. K two D finally forces caffeine to pop the burst. Caffeine making good use of the armor. Uh, specs of the minions. Ah, Moogie finally popping the wire. See, trying to get out of harm's way. Oh, again, here we go, man. Caffeine trying to keep that corner positioning. Got two minions on deck. Goes for the tap dust into the illusion driver for the kill. Good stuff from Moogie. Not Moogie, from uh, Caffeine. Uh, we have a match again, ladies and gentlemen. One match apiece. Very nicely done. Ah, Moogie finding the opening with the clone. But she's still playing. He's still playing. Still uh, streaming regularly as well. Uh, but he, he also does uh, continue participating to tournaments. But yeah, he hasn't participated to the Brojo Cup ever since. But it's still fine. It's still fine. But he's still playing the game, you know. Still playing Guilty Gear Strap. I don't think he's... I don't think I've ever seen him playing Street Fighter 6 or... Yeah. Uh, he's probably still playing Strive right now. I'm pretty sure. Anyways, here we go with uh, the first round for Caffeine. Definitely picking up the pace. The pace, the pace. <laughs> we go to take pressure. Find the opening with Shizuriyuki. And this is gonna do a ton of damage. <laughs> ah! Guilty Gear! Of course! Good lord. Again, here we go with... Ooh, the Minion Toss! And Moogie going with the air to air to seal the deal. Takes the second round. We have a... A very tight match, actually. Oh, Moogie with the command grab. Or is Caffeine to pop the burst? Wow, and look at these ODGs from, from Caffeine. has definitely been doing the work. Okay. Caffeine with the tick pressure, try to go for the grab, but nicely picked by Mugi. Oh, and here we go with the Elysian Driver for the kill. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Caffeine takes the lead, 2 to 1. Mugi is starting to show some signs of irritability. <laughs> okay, here we go with the double Fukio catches Caffeine out of the air. Nice Beyblade to catch the back dash. Gonna get the wall break. Yes, you will. Go straight into the Wasuri Yuki. Yeah, right. Oh, 
And here we go, the close-up pressure from Mogi gets the grab into the kill. Oh, give me with the juggle. Escorting a caffeine in the corner. Unfortunately, a badly timed command grab made it so that he got grabbed himself in the corner and put into it and put into it. Yeah. Oh no! And the burst has been made it! And caffeine is probably gonna take this one. No, not enough damage. Damn, okay. Okay, forces caffeine to pop the burst and. Oh lord! Here we go with the juggles. Nice blocks from Moogie, man. Not getting opened by the tap dust and just like this. Just like this, Moogie takes a D. Oh. The second, the fourth, the fourth match. I hope I counted correctly. Was it that, that quick? I might, yeah, I think I, I counted correctly. Okay, we have two matches apiece if I'm correct. I'm actually not quite sure. Here we go with the Illusion Driver! And ooh, the big 2S counter hit from Moogie gets scooped up by the 4K for the kill. Big Bailey counter hit, forcing Caffeine to pop the burst. And oh, Caffeine trying to get the jump in, but yeah, Moogie man, just two on point. Gets the grab. Wow, big YRC bait from Caffeine, and he's got the burst as well. Oh no, not like this. Moogie got red left and right. One more exchange for. Caffeine and yeah, I guess the kill with the Akuma Fireball. And just like this, to use Kai. So Moron has a pocket character. I don't know if Melia was a pocket character or if it's uh or if Kai is. But we'll see by but seeing him play, I suppose. Nice with punished. Wow man, Roy doesn't care. The double wake up DP just doesn't care. That's crazy. Oh, and Moron with the burst bait. And here we go with the air, air to air bandit bringer. First round went to Moron. Ah, Moron going with the grab. And the big DP right in the block strings of Roy, man. Not afraid. Gets the gets the uh, the opening. Nah, that standing K, man. Just to catch your opponent flying. Good stuff. And Roy, definitely not going down without a fight, gets the first, the second match of the second round of the first match. Let's see how this fares. Oh Lord, Maron, man, with the extension station, the optimization station too. Getting a lot of mileage right there off of that specific interaction. And Roy getting the the, the grab, pushing Moron in the corner. He messes up his uh, quick Roman cancel. Gets opened by the direct lock. Moron going for the grab for the kill. Good stuff from 
sick. Mm. Ooh, yeah. Just one second. Yeah. Yeah, full hell. Big food for dark from Maron. Oh lord. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, here we go with the trade. That was a sick trade, by the way. And ah, uh, Roy getting the hit. Good stuff. That was close. Oh, okay, here we go. I think uh, Roy is 2 0, if I'm correct. What the hell? Okay. Ah, sorry guys, my replay feature is probably busted right now. It's 1-1, one, one, yeah. Okay, my bad, my bad. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Thanks, you. Yeah, I have some uh, technical issues, actually. I think my replay feature is uh, is a little bit busted right now. That's the reason why I was checking it out, and... Uh, yeah, I think it's not working correctly. But anyways, it's fine, it's fine. And here we go with the... Um, the... What's it called? The, uh, the Vortex and to the Bandit uh, Bringer for the Wall Break. We got the close S and just like this, man, just like this. Roy on the verge of taking this one, but it is actually one round apiece. Ooh, Malin almost got hit right there. Still got opened up by the... Ah! Uh, by the Gunflame, and here we go with the Gunflame again. Should be able to get the wall break. Okay, okay. Okay, here we go with the tick pressure, man. Ooh! Again with the bandit revolver, bro. And just like this, actually, man. Roy taking the lead 2 to 1. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, okay, okay. I know what's going on. I think uh, Moron is gonna resort to using Melia if I'm correct. If I'm, uh, yeah, not mistaken. Wouldn't be surprising if it's the case. Let's see how this pans out. And here we go, on to the next battle. I'll be with you guys right there. Just give me one second. Mm. 
That was pretty strange. Yeah, and it's not really... Oh! Oh, actually, Maron managed to get the first, uh... The first match. So let's see how, The first, yeah, the first round. But a big Volcanic Viper for the kill in the second one, though. Let's see if Maron can actually seal the deal. Uh, tries to go for the Rose, but unfortunately gets Bandit Bringard. Wow, big close S right there from Roy. Oh, gets scooped by this... Uh, by the jumping S. Very good to the low. Ah oh, man, the air to air from Roy are out of this world, not gonna lie. And gets hit by the overdrive, man. Good stuff. We're on. We're on, not out of this yet. Two to two. We're going down to the wire, guys. I want to replay Buffer. What are you doing? Hmm, strange. Anyways, yeah, no more replays for those, I guess. Again, good stuff for um, Roy. He's probably gonna get the kill. Yes, he is. First round goes to Roy. Let's see if Maron can. Uh, yeah. Oh no! Gets DP right there. Almost got in the corner. You're gonna forest. No anti air, but it's fine. Oh, air to air. H as this is gonna do a ton of damage. Yep. Oh no! Unfortunately. Here we go with the cross up. Ah, uh, no burst. Yes, burst from Iran. Oh, gets the air to air. S counter hit. Goes for the cross up. Almost got the bait on the. Didn't believe in the bait of the burst. Goes for the low. It's not over till it's over. Oh, good stuff. Went for the fake cross up. Can kill, but one more. Yes, and Maron gets it, man. We're going down to the wire. Last round of the last match. Let's see who is going to take it. Wow, man. Both players do not want to be eliminated from this tournament, man. Oh, Lord. Here we go with the low. Good stuff again with the low, bro. Again, here we go. It's going to be the mix. Wow, oh, Maron definitely onto something right now. Goes for the overdrive. Let's see. Oh, we tried to go for the cheeky overhead, but yeah. Roy did not give it to him. Oh, and the overhead, the overdrive, man. Overdrive right in the block strings. And just like this, Maron, he punish into the heart. Okie dokie, so both players are very, but always used to participate to the... Uh, the Brojo Cup, so always a pleasure to see them play in it. Let's see how this pans out. Really big start of the rounder with the 2k2d from... From Caffeine trying to get... Uh, oh lord, that BRC combo though instead overhead. A BRC combo from Caffeine, he absolutely loves to do it. I get I has yet to use, use it like uh, consistently, but still very nice stuff from from uh, Caffeine. And gets the kill with the minion. Very nicely done. And on to the next round. Good stuff. Oh no! Oh, again, here we go with the 2k. Ah, the Cynic. Oh no! And the burst has been baited! 
unfortunately for Caffeine, getting put ever so slightly back in the corner. Oh, no, gets hit by the tap overhead, uh, the tap of dust, and that should be it for Agara. Good stuff from Caffeine. Gets the first um, match of very, very convincingly. Hagiara trying to answer back. Uh, finally finds an opening with uh, their minions. Gets the hit. And gets the corner positioning. Here we go with the buffs from the minion. Caffeine has to hold it. Again with the minion. Good lord. Oh, wow. Finds the opening with the 2D, though. Gets out of the corner. And it's now Caffeine's turn to try to apply some pressure. Oh, lord. That cross up, though. Uh, tr oh, okay, tried to go for a pick cross up, but yeah. Unfortunately, messed up his execution. Tried to kill both uh, minions right in the air, but was a little bit off of um, his. Oh no, and the golden verse has been baited. Good stuff from Hagiara. A nice, ca nice character knowledge. And here we go back to the corner. This time around, it's Hagiara who has the advantage. Driver! And just like this, Hagiara actually putting one on the board as well. Good stuff. <laughs> and this time around, Caffeine is the one to apply the brush and gets the kill with the Illusion Driver. Good stuff. Oh, actually, he was really close to get it. I really thought she was gonna die. Oh, but unfortunately, Hagiala just runs straight into the Akuma Fireball, man. Yeah. What the hell? One second, guys. Ah, uh, yeah, you should experience a little bit of a free, but now they should be fine. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, I'll give up. I'll give up again. We won't be able to get our replays. Ah, oh, that's sad. First time that the replay function, like, kind of doesn't work at all. I'm gonna have to uh, check it out later. After the stream, obviously. But anyways, here we go with the take pressure of Hagiara in the corner. Gets the kill with the tab dust. And we're in perfect perfect tie right now. One round, one match. Let's see who is going to take the advantage, though. Okay, back to the neutral. Caffeine getting the pressure first. Oh, Lord! And gets killed by the 5 HS counter hit. You hate to see it. Oh, there we go, the wire seat. I've been trying to get out of the corner. Gets scooped by the 2K2D. Oh, tries to go for the golden burst, but again, Hagiara, man, he's been so consistent with it. His, uh, his, his way of, like, uh, baiting the, uh, the gold burst of his enemies, it's been working so good for him. Good stuff, good stuff. And Hagiara takes the, uh, takes the lead, actually. Here we go with the minion toss. Again with the minion toss. Oh lord. 
Okay, caffeine. Yeah, both really trying to. Ooh! Get the advantage. Uh, I think caffeine. Ooh, almost. Uh, Hagiara tried to get in, but unfortunately ended up bumping against none other than a minion. Nice character knowledge right there from Hagiara, knowing that caffeine was not gonna come into canceling into a special. Finds the opening. Ooh! Ah, and this should be it. Right into the illusion driver for the kill. Hagiara takes the lead. Damn. I got definitely wanting to win this one. Hmm. Again, here we go with. Oh, Lord! I got to find the opening with a 2K to the. Oh, did he get hit? No, he didn't. Nice bait from Hayala, man. He was on point. He knew what was coming. Get the air grab, man. Hayala. Wow. And this is very bad situation right there for Caffeine. Yeah. Ah, Hayala trying to bait that Golden Burst again. No, oh, but Caffeine still not out of this yet. Gets the hit with the tab dust for the kill and the extension using the RC. Good stuff. But we are still in the corner with Hayata, man. Ooh, tried to get, go for the delayed cross-up, but Caffeine was aware of it. Didn't get hit by it. Nice tech from both. Oh, Lord! But Caffeine got opened. Oh, here we go to trade. <laughs> oh, nice air grab. And Hayata should be able to seal the deal using this. Good stuff, good stuff. And just like this, Hagiara takes it 3 to 1. Very nicely done. Hmm. Uh, so let me see. Here we Mankind. go. Okay, good. Duel one. Good to go. Sorry for the wait. Let's rock. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, at least I get the replay feature back. <laughs> well, at what cost? I'm definitely not redoing what I tried to do if, if, the, if the stream dies. I'm definitely not doing it. Hmm. Okay, let me check the sound score. Oh, that's fine. Okay. I don't know, the sound is so strange. On my end. For you guys it should be fine, but I don't know. So strange. Anyways, it's fine, it's fine. As long as it's working, I'm not gonna complain. I'm not touching anything else anymore. Anyways. <laughs> there you go with the duel number two. And first uh, round actually went to Usubu. Very nicely done. And got the knockdown on Maron. There we go with the yo yo toss. Ooh! Yeah, Moron trying to keep Usubu in the corner, but Usubu with the check, the standing cave check. Those sick. Good stuff. Oh, manages to not get hit by the DP too. Usubudi with the juggle and the side switch as well. That was sick. Nice save jump as well. Was able to bait the DP from Maron. Goes with that. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, this is going to do a lot of damage. Not going to kill. And the tab for us for the kill. Good stuff. Good stuff. And on to the next battle. Gonna be none other than the same. Okay. Yeah, somebody goes with the jump in. The safe jump, that is. Ah, catches the bag there, though. We go the stun dipper, and Maron goes straight into the tab dust for the opening and uses the RC for the extension in order to get the kill. Duel two. On to duel number two. Ah, nice air to air. 
gets hit by the direct level. Maron catching the back dash and goes straight into the 6v2. Punish Usuguri trying to jump out of pressure. Wow, the big 2s counter hit though. Here we go. Maron definitely changing their plans right there to try to accommodate for Usuguri being extremely versatile. Ooh, almost got 2 HS there, but nice. Uh, nice strategy for Manon to uh, using the jumping D, I believe, in order to delay their their fall. Ah, oh, Lord, no punish for that. Well, you can punish it from too far anyway. And here we go, the wall break. Maron having some problems trying to keep Usuburi on the ground, not moving big DP right there from Maron, but gets grabbed, man. The cojones on this man. Good stuff. Okay, Mulan still, uh, yeah, uh, actually, Usuburi took the first round or something. I really need to pay more attention, man. But it should be, it should be fine now. The stream is okay. Okay, and we're going to jump in from Usuburi, gets the grab. Oh, Lord, and Moron with the bad burst right there. This is gonna do, yeah. It's not gonna kill, but, ah, it wants to keep, it. ah, okay, nice, nice. Somebody wanting to keep the corner positioning, therefore did not commit in. <gasps> oh, this is crazy, man. The freaking conversion. Oh, no, he drops it. And Maron with the emergency DP gets hit. But gets grabbed by Usuburi and loses the round. Okay, this time around, uh, yeah, Usuburi is... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, this is a million change right there. This is definitely a million change. I can bet everything this is a million change. Let's see how this pans out. So, how did it go? Here we go with Melia Rage. Okay, is Moran gonna be able to make the comeback so much needed? We shall see. Oh lord. Now okay, here we go with the jump in, get the opening with the second hit of the, oh lord, of the Gatling. Oh, went straight for the grab. This time around jumping us. Got the wall break. Nice blocks for Musubiri, not getting hit by the lows. Ah, and again, man, this has been working so good for Merlon. Good stuff, gets the first round. Let's see if Usuburi can adjust. Nice 6p from Usuburi. Ah, oh, gets out using the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Somersault, as I like to call it. It's way too freaking long ago. I need to find a, I need to find a abbreviated version. Ah, the Somersault, I guess I'm gonna call it. Anyways, here we go with the jump in by Moran. Ends up in front, and Usuburi with the very, very strong defense. Ah, uh, gets opened by the jump in though. And by the low. Ah, nice close S from Maron. Should be able to seal the deal. Yeah, and does it. Puts one on the board. What is the sweet booty gonna do? Maron showing everybody their proficiency, man. Ah, oh, the music is off. Really? No way. No way. Ah, so that's the reason why I saw it. one second. I got you, got you. Thanks for the heads up, by the way. Let me check. Should be fine now. You got the music right now, right? I'm pretty sure you do. Okay, perfect. Thanks for the heads up, man. Much, much appreciated. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I fail to monitor myself and... It results in these types of situations, <laughs> but much appreciated. Okay, good stuff. But we are going to change uh, the, the music right now, because I want something a little bit more moving. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, this will do. Yeah, this is fine. Perfect. Oh, you know, keep and cookie. Oh, nice air to air from Maron, getting the, uh, what's called, the, uh, 
the counter hit. Good lord, I'm losing everything. And Modon should be able to seal the deal with the overdrive. Very nicely done. Okie dokie, back to neutral. Oh no, that was an awful burst right there from Usuguri. What happened? What happened? And Moran, man, using this opportunity to completely schmix and... Schmix every single mix in the books on Usuguri. Gonna get one break. Yes, he does. Go straight for the overhead. That the overdrive. Very nicely done. What is the mix? Oh! This move though. Okay, well, Moran taking the lead. Two to one. What is Usuburi gonna do? Okay, we're on set point. Let's see if Usuburi can actually bring things back. Oh lord. Ah, yep. Usuburi finding the opening with the 2K2D. Gets the juggle. Ah. And gets the wall break. Okay, Usubri is waking up a little bit. Probably wants to take things a little bit slower. Ah, nice for his counter hit. And this should be enough. Yes, it is. Okay, Usubri not out of this yet. Still can make a comeback. Just needs this one to uh, put another one on the board and get even Steven with Moran. Ah, oh, no. Unfortunately, ends up cornering themselves, but it's still okay. Finds a way to get out of it. This setup is so cool, by the way. Uh, tried to go for an MTL, but it's still okay. It works out in the end. And goes for the tab, does for the kill. Good stuff. Well, Usubri puts one on the board as well. I think this isn't over, right? This is the winner's final. We still have about four matches to go, including this one. Well, depending on the outcome of everything. Huh? More or less four matches to go. So let's see how this ends up. Okie dokie, start of the winner's final. Immediate first blood by Kohide, and that delayed DP from early tap made it so that he was able to get out of the corner. Oh, big jump in right here from early tap. Yeah, it's a conversion. And look at the damage, man. Look at the damage. People say the chip doesn't do damage, but it's not totally true, though. Yeah, I know it's, it's uh, situational, though, but wow. And the extension station from early tap to secure the win during the first Round. Let's see if he can keep this up, or if, uh, or if Kohide is going to bring things back. We shall see. Hmm. Anyways, we're going to jump in by early time. Gonna get the juggle and the wall break right away. Very nicely done. Oh. No, kid, okay. Here we go with the kickflip, gets the side switch. Early type probably not going to, yeah. Oh no! Yo! Well, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, he did dropping things here, but still managed to get the kill. Nicely done. We go to grab. Oh, stays in front. Oh lord, and the DP has been baited. We did just try to go for the maximum damage, unfortunately for him. Early type had a burst and. Immediately burst it in order to get out of arms way the big I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was gonna wake up DP. Good stuff from Kohide man. Reading the tendencies of uh, our dear early type who absolutely loves to wake up DP. <laughs> Good stuff from Kohide. And adequate punish by the way. Okay, let's see. On to the next battle. Try to read the DP once again. Nice conversion from Kohide. And look at the damage, good lord. Wow, did a lot of damage. Oh, Kohide going straight for the kick flip. Should be able to seal the deal. Using the uh, Bentania, it's not enough. Shy from a couple of pixel. And goes for the kick flip for the kill. It's fine. Takes it with a perfect, nevertheless. Damn, very nicely done. Okay, here we go with the jump in. Ooh, the big 2D counter hit though. And okay, no punish for the uh, but yeah, we did perfectly fine with just getting the corner positioning. Didn't quite get the uh, the back dash from early time. He tried to wake up with a gold burst, but kind of yeah messed his timing up. But still okay. We'll get the wall break. We'll get the heavy knockdown. 
will get the positive bonus, so it's perfectly fine. And the damage also. Ah, a little bit too far to get the punish on the Baghdad. No! Bad lead time, 2k, 2 is 2 2 hk though, from our early time, but it's fine though, for Kohid against the kill. Once again, 2-0 to zero takes a pretty hefty lead, actually. So let's see if early type can bring it back. We shall see. Oh lord, the tip pressure is real. Oh, here we go, the golden burst. Kohid is favorite. Kohid is the golden boy. He loves the golden burst. I use this one extend. Oh, one bar to extend. Probably didn't intend to drop the, the combo, but ended up doing so. And that made it so that he did not get hit by the... The DP, the wake up DP that early type just did. But that being said, look at that early type definitely working hard right now. Trying to make a comeback. Yo, oh Lord, you're going to jump in 2k to HS. Um, yeah, 2s to. to uh, no, it wasn't that. Ooh, is that gonna hit? Yes, it does. Oh no. Uh, that was unfortunate for Kohide, man. He still gets the Nasante, even after the slowdown operated by the. or caused by the. Uh, the Roman cancel. Good stuff from Kohide. Still managed to get the kill. And just like this, we're on, we're on tournament. We are on a set point, actually. Kohide, man, not freaking not joking around, man. Definitely out there for blood. He has wall break with the Nasante. Oh, Lord, here we go. The 6P. Tried to bait the burst. The, not the burst. Well, he did the burst of the DP. Oh, and here we go. With the freaking overdrive right into the block strings. Kohide, no respect! I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, no, she was sent to the losers by early type, actually. So, yeah, it's, yeah, I, I lied. I completely lied. Okay, let's hope that we don't have a connection error. We don't! Love it when we don't have the connection error. Okay, and on to the battle! I got a versus a Suburi. Who is gonna take it? We shall see. Hmm. Here we go back to the neutral. Big DP right there from Musubiri to get out of harm's way. Does not want to have to deal with Hagiara's pressure. Okay, here we go with the grab. Very nicely done by Musubiri. Oh lord. Oh, uses Roger to get rid of every and any uh, minion that might come over to play. Okay, here we go, the air to air. Usibri trying to keep Hagiara in the corner. And on the floor, more specifically, definitely. Okay, oh lord! And it is hell time! There you go, yeah, trying to push him ever so slightly in the corner, you can see. Big 5H right here from Hagiara. Oh lord! Oh, finally somebody getting open. Oh, try to read, for, uh, try to read the grab. Wow, that was interesting, to say the least. Oh, but Usuri man tried to go for the grab, but no, Hagiara not giving it to him. Goes for the roller skate. Oh lord, no, no. Oh, just, just a little bit more. Goes for Roger and try to go for the tap, for the tap does, but man. Usubudu was so on point on that one, not gonna lie, good stuff. Okay, here we go with the guard point. Hagiara getting the cross under and surprising Usubudu and... By doing that, manages to get a lot of damage right there, goes straight for the Elysium Driver. Driver! <laughs> good stuff from, uh, from uh, Hagiara. We get the hard knockdown, ooh, and here we go with the air grab. Hagiara has been point on point with the air grab, man. Not failing to do even once. The good stuff, good stuff. Okay, let's see if Usubiri can find some sort of an adjustment. Oh lord, here we go with the jump in. Oh lord. Okay, Usubiri getting hit out of the air though. Gets the knockdown. Okay, here we go with the oh um, the soccer kick, I'd like to call it. Wow. This is really going with the RC extension to keep pressure on. Chances are Hagiara not gonna burst. And Wizzy doesn't have the 
time to do so. Yo, how are you doing? Your will also Jack will confirm top one. Yeah, exactly, because of adventure, bro. Heading to bed soon, so have a good rest of the tournament, y'all. Thanks, how come on? Have a good night, bro. Here we go with Ooh, look. Okay, Subudi. Ah, trying to find the opening. Hayara gets the grab. Goes for the jump in. And here we go, the tick pressure. Man, I gotta being so. Being so Heidi Kala. Being really on point with Kala, yeah, but unfortunately he got hit by the bears. <laughs> He's being. How do we say this? Not resili resilient? I guess? No. He's being very shitskoi. I don't know how to say this in English. I forgot. How do, how do you say shitskoi in English? Being very stubborn, I guess stubborn or very like uh, relentless. Yes, exactly. Yes, it's relentless. I wanted to say relentless on his offense, man. Always on the, always following Subudi wherever he's going. It's crazy. His offense is really, really, really strong right now. That being said, Subudi finally answering back, showing some, uh, showing some teeth. Oh, nice six p from Hagara. And it's back to the corner for you, sir. Oh lord, oh no, and it has been baited, but it's still fine, I did have Roman cancel to make it uh, safe. Let's see what is going to be next. Ah, uh, Subudi, uh, short on, hitting Hagara down. Again with the 6P, Subudi not committing to any aerial attack, so not getting hit. Thankfully for it, thankfully for him, yeah. Ow! Oh lord, yeah, both trying to bait the tick right there. Both jumping out of harm's way, and yeah, oh, is it really forced to pop the burst? Big Roger, Fire Roger coming out, and the soccer kick, man, for the frame trap. Ah, uh, yeah, this is looking pretty bleak for a Subi booty, not gonna lie. Tried to go for an air grab, first time the Hagata actually misses it, and gets the kill with the standing P. Good stuff from uh, Hagata, takes the lead completely, 2-0. Let's see if uh, Isiburi can answer in due form, we shall see. Yeah, look, here we go to take pressure, get the knockdown. Okay, yeah. Isiburi not wanting to press too many buttons. If he's not 100% sure he's gonna be able to get his turn back. Oh, Lord. Oh lord, nice anti-air from Hagara should... Well, he's definitely gonna get the wall break. This did a ton of damage too, man. Good damage for Hagara. Oh, again, here we go back to... Oh lord! Is somebody trying to put Hagara in the corner? Forces him to pop the burst. Nice use of the minions. Follow up to attack to anti Subudi and gets the kill with the minions. We are on set point for Hagara. What is Subudi gonna do? Who is gonna get their run back against Kohida? We shall see. Against early type, actually. And you're going with the. From Roger. Okay, Subudi not out of this yet, goes for the tab dust for the kill. Okay, still not out of it yet. Let's see if Hagara can seal the deal or not. Here we go, goes low. Should be able to get the wall break, but Hagara with the burst is saved right at the end. Nice use of the minions. And the air grab once again from Hagara. Always on point. Yeah, here we go with the quick dust. Ah, Lord. Oh, no. Unfortunately for Hayala, I get scooped out of the air thanks to the somersault. Uh oh. No. Yeah. No whiff punish right there from Musuguri. Ah, but gets hit by the grab. Unfortunately for Hayala, he didn't have enough bar to roam and cancel. Oh, 
and Roger for the save. And just like this, bro. This is really gonna put one on the board, finally. It's still not over, though. Definitely not. This is really definitely need he needs to bring two matches back to back if he wants to make his way to the loser semifinal. After which, he will have to fight none other than early type. The big boss. Let's see how this pans out. Nice jump in right there from Musuguri. Ah, I guess the 6P. Wow. And the juggle also. Okay, I get up with the 5HS. Wow, low profiles. The standing HS. You hate to see it. Using the 2D. And here we go back to the neutral. Wow, man, the resiliency of this man, huh? the relentlessness of this man, what am I talking <laughs> The resiliency of this man, the relentlessness of this man, it's crazy. I got a really sticking to Usui just like Blue. I tried to find the opening, oh, almost got the juggle though. Yo, okay, here we go with the YRC from Usui wants to get out of harm's way. I tried to go for the jump in, but man, I got out with the confirm. Fails to hit with the soccer punch. The soccer, the soccer kick, though, unfortunately for him. Now, Stratosphere minion and gets the hit with the minions as well. Nicely done. Okay, let's see how this spins out. We go the jump in from Musubiri. Ah, drops the combo. Oh, nice six feet. Nice hits from Musubiri to get rid of the minions. Oh, goes for the low. Goes for the low again. Finds the opening. <laughs> oh, and gets the kid, the hit man with the with the fiery Roger. Man, it's gonna go down to the wire. I feel it. Unless like Hagiara makes the freaking biggest comeback of his life. I think it's gonna go down to the to the last round. Pretty sure. Nice grab, man. Good stuff from Musubiri, and we're going down to the we're going down to the last round of this uh, this match. Let's see. Oh, get big corner pressure from Musubiri. Try to go for the delayed fall using the jumping D. Wow, you got a side switch there. Okay. And should be able to get the wall break. Look at the damage, by the way. Damn. Wow. Oh, Lord. Here we go with the minion throw. And gets the hit again, man, with the freaking Roger. But gets hit by the 5HK. The 5HS uh, of uh, Hagiara. Oh, and again with the 6B. Hagiara not letting up. He does not want it to go down to the last match. He wants to win right away. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, it's fine. This time around had enough time to recover. Get the hit with the soccer kick. And look at the zoning, man. It's back to the zoning. Ah, uh, but... Ooh, almost got the kill. Thanks to Raja. Okay. Good stuff from Hayala. Oh, no. He tried to go for the golden burst. And it's a booty, man. Taking this opportunity to run up straight and grab his ass. Good stuff from somebody takes... Uh, actually, puts one on the board and... Makes it so that it is a perfect tie. Let's see how this spins out. Okay, let's see. Back to throwing minions. Okay, so booty with the corner pressure. Well, oh, um, I got it with the corner pressure. So booty having to deal with the corner pressure. Ah, nice 6P again from Agela, man. Nice blocks. Ooh, and the big 2HS, bro. This time around, Hagira is going to have to deal with pressure. He's forced to pop the burst, tries to get out of the corner, but man, that, that freaking yo yo prison, man, preventing Hagira from really moving the way that he intends to. We go to wall break. Isuibudi is definitely looking pretty good man, right now. On the verge of reverse 3-0-ing. Uh, no better feeling. 
Nice take pressure right there from. Oh, but I get him in. I get him in. I get him in. Oh, he drops it. You don't want to go like this. I tried to read a uh, YRC right there. He tried to read the YRC up. Yeah. Or maybe afraid also of wake up DP. Well, of DP and then blocks. Oh, he blocks. He blocks the freaking Tim Dust. Man, look at the tags, but still. We see Booty gets hit by the uh, by the unfortunate uh, soccer kick right at the end. Uh oh. Okay, we okay. So match point for Hagala. Let's see if Usubiri can bring it back. Oh, and the take pressure. Usubiri forced to pop the burst though. Lord. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Here we go with the throw. With the minion throw, that is. Ah, finally Hagala forced to pop the burst as well. He definitely needs to finish this round. And not go for the last one, but I'm sensing a comeback. I don't know why. Uh, maybe. Maybe not. Ah, uh, here we go to RC. Yeah, this we tried to go for a grab, but nah. I got it was that point too much on point. Oh no, and the wake up DP and this is dead. Yeah. Ah, uh, that was unforgivable. Good stuff from Hagara. Moves on to the losers. Final three to two. That went down to the early type. No, early type fought against Caffeine and sent him into losers. That's that's what happened. Yeah. So first time that they fight against each other right there. But knowing that he has defeated Caffeine relatively easily, it might be a little bit hard for Hagara since Caffeine and um, and um, and uh, Hagara more or less share the same uh, the same level. Well, to some, to some, like, to with very minor differences, though, but... Arigato gozaimashita! Otsukaisamashita! And here we go with the grab. Good lord! Jump in from early type, wants to get the... Uh, what's it called? Wants to keep the corner pressure. Nice challenge right there from Haba... Uh, from Haba. Bro, <laughs> Hagiara. Here we go with, again, man, with the 2k2d. Definitely doing wonders for him. Gets the knockdown. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Everybody is very wary of early type because we know that he loves to wake up DP. Ah, uh, and just as I say this. Look at the amount of health he has left is... Oh, no, early type with the freaking comeback. Here we go with the alpha blade. No entire... Ah, oh, good lord. Yeah. Oh, wow, 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 wow. What's going on? And he gets killed by the standing age. Agyala just saves it in extremis, man. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. Here we go with the OTG damage. Agyala keeping the... Wanting to keep the corner positioning. Almost gets hit by the Alpha Blade. Okay, and here we go with... Ah. Agyala and the... Ooh, and this is gonna kill. Damn. Agyala, man. Rocking some pretty big Sephiroth energy. Good lord. The Dark Angel. <laughs> the One-Winged Angel. Hagiara coming back from losers, man. I won't suffer. I won't suffer you. Anyways, here we go with Hagiara. Ooh, trying to push. Early tap in the corner. Ooh, very nice um, guard point right there from Hagiara. Ah, no entire yet again. Early tap going with the Sukiyaki. Yeah, gets the hit with the overhead. Yeah, early type not out of this yet. Look at the damn. <laughs> this is cray cray, bro. Here we go with the tick pressure, and this should do. Good stuff from early type with the extension station. Gets the kill. Let's see if early type can continue in this. Oh, look. Oh, drops the combo, but it's still fine. Resets with the gamma. Oh, nice blocks from Hagiara. This time around concentrated. Nice tick. How is it possible? Nice tick for. Oh, Lord! And I got like getting the counter hit. Goes for the grab. Now uh, goes for the fake cross up. Yeah. Oh, no. He believed that. Oh, but it's still fine. Damn, man. The reactions of Hagiara have been so much on point. He's got. He got every single good answers reaction wise. That was crazy. I got a very good man. Ah, this time around got his uh, grab baited, unfortunately for him. Oh, Lord. Yeah. And early tap also trying to go for a uh, for a air to air. Okay, back to the corner for you, says early type. Ah, and the big five HS. 
Uh, counter hit also. This is gonna do a lot of damage. I, I could have went for the overdrive, but decided to keep it. Probably to keep it for later, for you know, just as insurance sake, I suppose. Wow, and the bait on the gold burst and perfect punish. Perfect punish from Hagiara. Damn, that was a quick 2 0, oh, bro. Still one more? Hagiara, man, playing out of his freaking mind these days. He also made. Um, well, top 3, obviously. He made top 2 in the previous uh, Guilty Gear Strike tournament. Hagiara did. And only lost to TY in Grand Final after resetting the racket, I believe. So Hagiara definitely putting the work these days. Definitely working a ton. And uh, yeah, you can see it in his gameplay right now. He's being way more consistent. Nothing to do with the Hagiara that uh, we used to see like in the beginning of the, the life uh, of, uh, of Brojo Cup. Yeah, very good stuff, man. It's such a pleasure to see him like improve. Uh, here we go with the uh, the burst. I uh, get the counter hit. Good lord. Yeah, man. I'm telling you, like it's the season of Jacko. It definitely it's her season. And uh, things and I don't and I very much. Uh, think that she might get actually buffed in the next season as well and if she does she's I really feel like she's gonna be the top tier of the game in my opinion that is maybe they'll give her a, a DP back again imagine Jacko with DP <laughs> like an Exart it would be crazy anyways uh, that being said here we go uh, early type did manage to take one round I gets hit by D2K2 you know yeah I get I'm wanting to keep early type in the corner Oh no! No entire. Oh, and the five H just counter it. Oh lord! Good stuff from early top gets a hit and goes for the cross up. Oh, gets the juggle as well. Damn, good damage. Tried to go with the gamma blade, but it didn't quite meet it. But it's still fine. He could keep the pressure going. Goes for the wall rake with the gamma. Oh lord! To go with the burst, yeah. Oh no, Hagiara yeah, gets opened up and this should do. Surely type not out of this yet, puts one on the board. Still needs to uh, put several more others, so if she wants to take this back. To have an opportunity to get his revenge against none other than Kohide. Yeah, Hagiara ha trying to keep early type in the corner, man. Okay, nicely done, finally got what they wanted. Oh! Almost, well, get the punish on the alpha blade, which is pretty cool. Ah, lord, early tap getting scooped on his way down. Yeah, you can see early tap definitely scared of, you know, DPing at random intervals. Because of the safe setups that Jacko can actually resort to use by using the, uh, the Dominions. Nice air grab, man. Just like this, we're on uh, set point. Poor Hagia, what is early tap gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh, nice guard point. That was sick. I get it with the corner positioning. It's gonna, it's gonna finish on a, a, a whiff to DP. I feel from early tap. I feel like he's gonna wake up with DP at one point. And I get it. He's gonna take mad advantage of it and gonna kill him, unless he has burst, which is perfectly possible. But we'll see. We'll see. Oh lord, he's out. He's out. He's out. <laughs> oh lord, here we go. The alpha blade goes cross. Oh, goes for the overhead. There we go, the Suki Sukiyaki. Ah, uh, there we go, the Gamma Blade. The pressure is real. Gets jumped on at DP time. Oh, nice Abari right there from early time. Almost got. Oh no! Again with the freaking. Oh, oh no! And gets the hit with the Loga. I forgot the name. Zanso Loga, whatever the hell is called. I forgot the name of the super, but still gets the kill with the freaking. The air grab, man. The air grab. Let's see how this pans out. Mm. Okie okay, dokie, Brids and Cookie Kohide sitting on the winner side, whereas Hagiara is sitting on the losers. Is Hagiara going to be able to pull a reset and win the tournament? We shall see. Nice stuff. Uh, one second. What is this? Oh, 
Okie dokie, and ooh, I gotta try to get that kill. Ooh. Oh lord! Ah, uh, unfortunately for I gotta get scooped by. Oh no, and he even gets the freaking burst out of it, man. That was sick. Good stuff from Kohide. Gets not only the round, but the kill as well. It was really sick. Okay, and back to pressure land. Kohide trying, man, to get out of the corner. Gets air grabbed. Man, Hagira has been on point with this so much. Wow. Oh no, he even gets the gra the tech uh, attempt from, uh, from, uh, from Kohide. That is crazy. Here we go to take pressure. Oh, okay, nice Abari from Hagara. Goes for the fake cross up. <gasps> Almost drops the combo, but gets it thanks to the Roman cancel right at the end. Good stuff. One round. Got this spins out. Nice whiff punish from Kohide. Tries to go for the grab. Oh no, and the Golden Burst has been baited. You hate to see it. Here we go to take pressure. Kohide being very patient, does not want to work stand, goes for the overdrive. Right in the air, man. Good stuff. There we go deep. Hard knockdown. Okay. I get a content to just Oh to just get hit by the kick flip. <laughs> hey, good stuff from Kohide. Takes the first match. Okay, it's not over till it's over though. Kohide definitely on fire today, bro. Definitely on fire. Dual one. Let's see how this spins out. Oh lord! Here we go, the 2k TD. Kohide really waking up with the burst. Probably wanted the golden one, but probably mistimed it, especially for him. Oh lord! The good stuff from Hagera. Manages to get the first round of the second match. Again with Yabare, I got it this time around. Keep the corner positioning. We get the dribble, gets a side switch. Are you serious? Damn. That's character knowledge right there. Oh no. Ooh, that big late 6p on the cannon drill. Still worked though. Uh oh. Too bad, so sad. Oh wow. I don't think Kohide wanted to side switch though. But it's fine, it's fine. Again with Yabare from Hagera, man. Oh no! Gets hit by the minion. Ah, lord, the freaking grabs from. Oh! That was a mistime. Oh, that was so unfortunate. Oh, but, 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 but. Is that gonna be enough? That's no, not. Ah, almost got hit by this 5k. Ah, but it's fire. It's fine, it's fine. Good stuff from. I gotta put one on the board. Let's see how this spins out. Okay, here we go with the juggles. Koide waking up with the gold burst again. <laughs> and with the overdrive, of course. The Samurai Hagiara didn't bite. Ah, this but but but. Oh, here we go with the minion. Thankfully for Hagiara, the minion negated any uh, entire attempts that Koide tried to do. And Koide with the loop pressure gets the grab for the kill. And on to the next battle. Wow, big 2D counter hit. You're gonna get the wall break. A quick 40% of your life already gone, sir. Oh, nice 6 speed from Hagara, definitely on point. And again with the air grab, man, Hagara. That being said, Koida using the over drive to punish any entire attempt that Hagata was throwing his way. Hagata forced to pop the burst because, well, his life is easily hanging by a thread. Ah, nice. Nice delay in the use. Oh, Lord, but Kohide reading that grab attempt snatches the victory away from Hagata. 
Cool, he didn't lead 2 to 0. What is Hagiara gonna do? We shall see. Okie dokie, Bridge and Cookie. Potential final match of today. We shall see. We go to standing S. Going to Okay, and here we go with the grab by Koide. Goes for the low. Goes for the grab attempt, but is adequately texted by Hagera and immediately trans uh, to converts into the uh, overdrive for the kill, by the way. Good lord. How much damage did this thing do? Good lord. And here we go. We are on tournament points, ladies and gentlemen. Koide on the verge of winning. That would be the second time which Giovanna wins in a row, by the way. Last week was... uh was TY, so let's see if Kokide can seal the deal. Ah, oh, yeah, and this should do? Is that gonna kill? <laughs> lord. Good lord, the damage. Okay, and just one more hit, goes for the cannon drill. And gets the chip kill. And just like this, Kokide.